All right, now we're going into one of my favorite two combos, head kicks and knockout crosses. So again, the key to the head kick making the punch land is you have to threaten with your head kick. So my biggest advice, I, I get a lot of people who come and visit me um, at, our, at, at our academy at Rufus Sport headquarters and um, they struggle a lot with getting head kick. The, one of the biggest misconceptions is I don't want to get hurt, so don't throw head kicks. Well, that's like saying, I, I, I can't defend a double, so let's not train doubles. Oh, God, I don't want to get my elbow snapped. Let's not arm bar. No, you have to attack this. So um, my biggest advice, if you want to get better with the head kick in general, you got to go live with it. Learn to block it, not run away from it, because um, all you're doing is creating a bad habit that is worse on fight night. You know, luckily we wear shin guards in practice, but we don't in fights. And and now you've created a bad habit for live combat. That being said, um, we're going to work on the head kick. One of my favorite ways to do it again, yeah, I'll go switch kick, but again, I slash. I want to zigzag. If I switch kick from linear in front of them, it's going to be longer to cross them. What I want to do is creep my cross closer to Jamie. So by slashing, I put that hand in front of me, follow, blast them with my cross. By getting off that center line and kicking deep too. That's another thing. I don't want to kick shallow with my foot or near the bottom of my shin. I'm shallow. What I need to do is switch into them a little bit when I do this. As I switch in, I kick deep. Now I'm in range to blast them with that cross. And also, when I kick with that deep shin, it threatens him more. He's forced to, to two-arm block. The two-arm block opens the path up to this chin over here, and that's why I'm doing that. So again, when I take and make the switch kick, I kick deep, and now, boom, overhand, etc. Even if he blocks hands high, I can throw that curveball. And same thing, we have the other side switch where we circle around, and I move over, kick deep. Now, boom, I open the other angle up off of that, driving the cross, the overhand. If he navigates with the guard, the curveball around his guard. Two. So two different ways, like I said, and I threaten his guard. I want to kick his arms hard because it makes him worry about the head kick and it distracts him so I can crack him with the hard pump. So again, by doing that circle switch, boom, I open that cross up.